Hey guys, welcome again to my channel. So today's video is a makeup video, everyday makeup. And um, I haven't done a makeup video in a long time. Like, oh my gosh, it's been months. So anyway, um, I just decided to do one today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you will not miss an upload from me. You guys, this is an everyday makeup. Just let me know what do you think about the look. And um, if you'd like to see more makeup videos, just go ahead and comment that in the comments below and let me know you guys so without further ado let's get started okay you guys so I have already primed my face and uh, moisturized um, I use the elf poreless face primer um, that's what I use to prime my face and for my moisturizer um, I use the e.l.f. daily hydration moisturizer I know the package look dirty because I have my makeup <laughs> I have it in a bag with with my um, sponge and everything but anyway that's what I use um, for for moisturizing so first things first um, I need to do my brows and uh, let's see I'm using man it's like the name came off I'm sorry um, but I'm using this it, it, I think it was a dollar that I paid for it um, and that is what I'm going to use to carve out my brows sharpening up a little bit here all right so we're gonna get started you guys so if you hear a little bit of noise I have my fan on because it's hot in here but um, yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my brows the way I want it all right and then just go ahead and fill that in like that okay and I'm gonna do the other brow and just to let you know you guys my brows are not even they are not twins they are sisters and they don't always look the same so I just do the best that I can to make them look as even as possible See, this one looks bigger than this one. We'll fix that up with some concealer. Just like that. All right. Put this away. And then I'm going to use my spoolie to just brush out the brows. I actually need to get my brows redone. My, you know get them re-groomed because you can see I have some stray hairs but that's okay all right so after you just brush it out like that then we're gonna go ahead and use our concealer and I'm using my trusty old Mac concealer and this is in NW40 and I have my brush that I got from where did I get this brush well anyway Claire's that's where it is so it has a I don't know rounded brush kind of a thing here and then I have the angled brush on this side so basically I use this to carve it out and then I use this to just blend it in. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. 
So I dip my brush, get as much product as I want on the brush, and then um, what I like to do is do the top first. That way, you know, I kind of even everything out. So I basically start here. Okay, and that's how I'm going to do that. And then basically brush it up. And then blend it out. It looks good to me. What do you think? Yeah. So then I just use the other side of the brush to just blend everything out. It's going to look crazy at first, but as you go along, it will come together just nicely. You'll see. Okay. Just like that. So now on to, um, I'm just going to get both at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and carve this side out. just like that and then I'll go ahead and just pull it up out yeah my lips are kind of dry right now but it's okay I'm gonna take care of that in a minute okay so that looks even I think <laughs> and uh, you know you just try to get it as close as possible um you know that's how i do it because my my brows are yeah they're they're not even they're not the same so there you go and the top is done so now i go ahead and do the bottom portion so i'll go ahead and dip into my concealer again and then um i kind of bring my brows up a bit that way you know I can clearly see what I'm doing so I go like so and I basically just trace like like that okay and then you just pull it down just like that all right and then now i'm going to just blend it out so you use that part of the brush mm -hmm. and there you have it just like that okay so i'm going to go ahead and do the other side now so i just go oops that's a mistake uh, okay <laughs> okay you guys so anyway I'm just gonna use my spoolie to just brush that out okay all right and then continue on all right so we're just gonna go like that and just trace it up like that and then we're just gonna pull it down and if you make a mistake you guys you can always use your pencil you know to um, if you go up a little bit too much like this one I think I went up a little bit too much you can use your pencil to just go back and trace right through you know you know until you get your desired result mm -hmm. okay so this one looks a little bit um 
on the small side so I'm just gonna go back in with my brush with my um, pencil and then I'm just gonna fix that Just give it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then I go back in with my, my brush and my concealer and then just kind of trace that. Okay. I'm not an expert you guys you know I'm just showing you what I do I am not a makeup artist in any way I just love playing in makeup <laughs> yeah so that's how I do the brows all right so now that my brows are done um, I usually um, I usually add some some gel but I'm not gonna do that today um, I don't typically have to do that you know on my everyday brows but um, in future videos I'll show you um, all the other stuff that I do um, when I want to be all glammed up right so now I'm going to put on my foundation and the foundation that I will be using is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour uh, Fresh Wear, and this is in 5:30. Don't know if you can see that. So, yeah. Now I like to put that on my hand. I do one pump right now. <laughs> one pump and then I'll take my finger to just put it on my face boom, boom. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. okay so I take my beauty sponge and I'll go ahead and apply just dab 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 and it's damp by the way I know the foundation is a little darker than me but um, that's okay um, we're gonna do some other things ba, ba, ba. Mm -hmm. just like that So when you get it the way that you want it to, then you apply your concealer and the concealer that I'm using is this Trust Your Concealer. It is my Milani Conceal and Perfect and this is in the shade 170. I love this stuff. Oh my goodness. Look, I'm almost out. That means I need to go get another one. So. Just put it in. And over my nose, just like that. Alright, so I just let that sit for um, probably about a minute or so. I have my fan going. So, you know, just to have it um, be a little tacky so that it 
you know gets into the skin and I can blend it out and it stays okay so I'll wait <laughs> anyway okay so it's not quite a minute yet but um, I'll wait a little bit more um, okay so as you can see so it's, it's um, drying a little bit so what I'm gonna do is uh, use the other side of my um, beauty sponge and I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend it out and I'm gonna start under my eyes now just bring it over my lid I use the back of the sponge just to blend out the edges so it doesn't look so harsh. Remove the line of demarcation so everything just kind of look even. And go up my nose. Um, blend that out. And my forehead and just blend that out and my chin And then I use the back of the sponge again just to blend out so I don't have any lines of demarcation. Everything just look even. Alright, so I'm going to let that sit on my face and I am going to contour and I'm using my black opal stick. And this is in black walnut. And just I'm gonna just put just a little bit right there like so like that and then a dab here and a dab there I don't want to make it too dramatic I'm gonna put it down here as well like that and then I'm going to use my uh, real techniques brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and just blend and I like to blend it back to my hairline like that yes indeedy and then this I like to just brush it upwards quickly blending everything together all right and then this of course you want to just go down and blend it under well, now we are going to set our concealer that we have under our eyes under my arm everywhere that I have highlighted I'm just gonna go ahead and and set that concealer I'm using the Sasha buttercup okay I can't find my brush that I usually use but I'm gonna use this elf angled brush and what I'm gonna do is just tap 
knock off all the excess and just tap sometimes you just have to improvise you guys Yep, yep, yep. And I'm basically just tapping it on there, um, just to soak in the push the powder into the skin. And I'm gonna put some on my eyelids as well. Okay, so when it looks as good as you want it to, you can move on to the next step. And what I want to do is um, I just want to go ahead and bake just a little bit. I don't like to bake too much. So I'm going to use my same sponge that I use um, for my concealer. And then I'm just going to pick up some of the powder. I'm going to tap it off on my hand and then I'm going to put some under my eyes. I'm not going to put a whole lot, just a little bit. Because it can get ashy sometimes, you know what I mean? Alright, and so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to carve out a little bit of Just like that. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that away. Now, for the rest of um, the areas that's... Um, I'm going to set the rest of my face with my powder. So to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my powder. Don't laugh at this, you guys. It's kind of broken, but it's my... Um, uh, <laughs> it's Ruby, sorry. It's my Ruby Kisses Matte Finish um, Powder. I thought the lid of it broke, of course. But anyway, um, as you can see, I use this a lot, so it's almost finished. Um, I'm just going to use, just dab into there. And just set the rest of my face. Just like that. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. Now for my um to for my contour, um, I'm gonna use my true. This is um, black radiance. My true complexion. This is in medium dark shade, and I am actually going to use this um, darker shade. My brush is a little dirty, you guys. Don't laugh at me. Don't judge me. Okay. So I'm just going to dab in there and then go like this and then just apply it upwards like so. Dab. 
and apply 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 and then the rest of it you know I just go around my, just those areas so now to remove the rest of the powder um, I'm gonna use my brush to just sweep that away And now I am going to use my Mario Badescu um, skincare cucumber and green tea spray. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set everything. Okay, so I went ahead and spray. And then I'm just going to use my sponge just to set that all in. just like that so now we're just gonna get put everything together and the first thing that I, I'm going to do is add my highlighter and uh, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter and I'm going to use this brush which is the Morphe M501 brush and I'm just going to go ahead and highlight. Just like that. I really like this color cuz it 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 actually works well with my skin tone. And I'm just basically blending, blending that out, just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'm also going to put some on my forehead. Going to put some on my cupid's bow and also on my chin. Just like that, you guys. All right. And so now I'm going to put on some blush. And I'm using my e.l.f. blush. And this is in... I can't really see. And I don't have my glasses. Anyway, this is my e.l.f. I'll put it in the description. All the products that I'm using, you guys. Using my trusty old brush here. And I'm just going to pick some up like so. And then I'm going to... Just like that. Just like that. My lips are so dry, you guys. But it's okay. Now, for my nose, I'm going to use my Ruby Kisses fan brush. And going to use um, my Master Chrome again. And I'm just going to 
pick some up right there and I'm just going to add a line just right there just like that not too too much I'm just adding a little extra so that it can pick up on the camera it's beautiful and put my finger in there and just give me a little bit of highlight right here Ooh, just like that <laughs> just like that so anywhere where the light hits that's where you want to highlight okay so I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit um, so I'm still using my black radiance and I'm going to be using still this I'm gonna use this elf brush and just to give me a little definition on the nose just like that okay just like that just to define the nose a little bit okay so I just turned off my fan because I don't want want it to dry out my when I'm putting on my eyeliner so I'm using the wet n wild mega liner um, eyeliner and so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh line my eyes my eyelids my eyelids <laughs> so I just want to start from here and I'm not gonna talk during this because then I'll mess it up all right And I'm not really gonna wing it out, you know, I'm just gonna leave it right there and then just Just like that, you guys. Simple. And then the other one. My eyes are real sensitive, so if you see me tearing up, I'm not really crying. <laughs> Okay, I think it's even. What do you guys think? Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara. I'm not going to put on any lashes because um, I honestly I don't wear lashes on a daily basis. So I'm using my NYX uh, Worth the Hype mascara. And um, yeah. And what I like to do is jiggle it. That way I know that I'm getting all the hairs. So I jiggle it and bring it up. Jiggle up. And I try not to let them get clumpy. Um, I'm 
just like that. Just like that so now um, just to make the eyes open up a little bit more I'm just gonna do my bottom lashes so I look up and I make faces because I'm just trying to get so I hold my head way down that way I can look up to get it Okay, like that. So once you get it, you know, to your desired, um, to your desired result, then I'll. Okay, so to highlight my inner tear duct area, I'm using my MAC um, palette and I'm just going to add just a little to the tear duct area yep. I don't want to go too crazy with it you know just enough to highlight that area and open up the eyes a little bit more. I'm just trying to blend it out. All right, just like that. So now for the lips, I'm using my e.l.f. Uh, I can't read you guys. My e.l.f. lip liner. Oh my gosh. I don't remember what. Um. Anyway, I'm using my e.l.f. lip liner. Let me uh, sharpen it up a little bit. I use this quite a bit. To line my lips. And so as you can see, um, I line my lip, but I like to bring it in a little bit more. And then for the up, for the upper lip, I like to do like an X. like that just like that so now I just blend it out by you know pressing my lips together just like that and then now I'm going to use my Black Radiance lip gloss. It's plain. And then I'm just going to add that to the lips. Give me a bit of shine.
just like that. So now I am done. What do you guys think? And that's it you guys um, you know this is like an everyday makeup um, some of you may think that it's too much for every day but you know it's it you know even though I'm, I'm you know I may take a lot of time let me turn my fan back on cuz I'm okay Whew, I'm getting hot again <laughs> anyway so yeah you guys this is the final look um, let me know in the comments um, if you like this um, this makeup look this is just a simple everyday makeup um, it's you know not you know I didn't put any eyeshadows or anything so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one you guys bye Mwah.